Hey, how's it going? It feels like it's Sonic week <laughs> or Knuckles week. Uh, I'm going to post a lot of videos of Sonic and Knuckles and of the crew. Uh, this video is all about how to draw Knuckles punching at the screen in a very extreme perspective pose. Like, like the, you know, his hand is like really, really close to the screen. A lot of people asked for this, so I, you know, delivered and we're gonna go right into the video lesson and you're gonna learn this pose. It's a lot easier than you think. And at the very, very end, I'm gonna go over color. So let's hop right in. All right, let's get started on uh, Knuckles. Extreme pose. We're gonna start kind of forward and then work our way back. So let's start with the the fist that's gonna you know hit the camera here. His uh, knuckles, right? I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna draw a curved line for one knuckle, pulling back like so. I'm gonna draw over here like a little bit more of a curve here on the spike. All right, on. I'm gonna go over here. Other spike, right, on his knuckle. Curve. If you've seen the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, say hi to me, like tell me, say that, and give me your thoughts, the second one, I mean. Uh, haven't seen it yet, I gotta go see it. Curve over here for the top of the hand. You're gonna curve around here, the bottom. I think I'm about to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. I sneeze. Sorry. Gonna go over here. Pull downward. Curve over here, and then pull up here. It's got that folded hand there. Come around here and tuck that in there. Right on. So let's find his thumb. It's gonna come around the edge over here. So right here, we're gonna start. And it kind of looks like a, a like a like a bean or something, like like half of a bean. Go down here, and now we're gonna go down his wrist, and we're gonna find the glove. Move on, yay, down there, and over here. Curve, curve. Over here again, curve right there. All right, we're gonna go, actually we're gonna do one thing before the arm, we're gonna draw his face over here. Cause it's an extreme pose, right? If you do like this stuff, by the way, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. I'm gonna go over how to draw um, lessons basically every single day. I go over three every day on different topics. I go over all kinds of Sonic characters. Anything you request, I will probably do it. Just ask in the comments. Um, but yeah, if you like that sort of thing and you like these short lessons, uh, please hit the subscribe and click the bell notification if what I do here is worth uh, your time. Thank you. All right, let's go over here to the face. And so we're gonna have half the face hidden a little bit. So I'm gonna go over here and have his face peeking out over here. You can see the bottom of his face over here and the other side of his face, the other side of his mouth. And you're drawing it smaller. It's kind of interesting to have to do that, but it's it's kind of a weird brain thing, right? That you wanna draw it as big, but you're not supposed to. Um, we're gonna curve it around here underneath, over here as well, and pull up. And this is kind of where his nose is gonna be on this side, and this is where his eye is gonna be. So right here is his nose. I'm gonna draw a curved line here, slowly for the nose. Draw it over here, and you can just kind of fill in the whole thing or leave a little dot there for a uh, highlight. Down over here, up. Curve around. Up over here. Up. Curve. All right, and a line here maybe, just for that other furrowing of the brow that he has, right? They all kind of have that really curve, 
for the brow. Curve on this side. And now I'm gonna draw a curve line here for the side of his mouth and down. He's gonna have an angry look on his face. <laughs> Line here for one eye, line over here for the other eye. It's like this curve, downward curve. Line over here, dot, that's like a highlight and a dot, the center of those eyes. All right, pulling up, out over here, down. All right, go over here on this side. Now we're gonna draw his dreads, which really make him look like, you know, the knuckles that he is. Out over here, wiggle, back. Over here, all right, one line, and now we're gonna thicken that out. Back, okay? Over here, just kinda any way you want. Just draw like an S shape somewhere, and then thicken out that S shape. Pull it back. Over here on the back side, down. Over here, down, over here, down, over here, down. And now we're gonna draw the arm over here, like so. It's gonna be a round part of the shoulder. And as it comes up, it's gonna get a little bit bigger like that. Like pretty, it's gonna get wide, right on. Let's go over here to the far end and we're gonna find his uh, fist, kind of like, you know, as one's pulling forward, right? The other is back. I'm gonna draw maybe a little line here for that crescent on his chest, just a bit. If you, maybe you'll see some of it. Depends how you draw it. Uh, gonna go over here and it's gonna like line here, line here, curve off for the hand. Donut shape around his wrist. Out, spike. Don't forget, if you can, hit that like button. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, really helps us out over here. Curve right here for the fist. Down, I mean, that's for the actually, you know, the, the thumb area, and then right here for the more the fist area. Curve, curve. And I forgot the other spike in the back. All right. One last thing, we're gonna draw the shoe. You can kind of see it back here. It's, it's bizarre to think that, but curve up. Down over here, curve up. All right, we're gonna little block. And then we're gonna draw like a circle. He has these circle. I mean, you're only gonna see like two, maybe chunks of the other two. And there you go. That is Knuckles punching at the screen in like an extreme perspective. But one thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to change something here. I'm going to curve this line up and it's gonna connect right here to um, kind of the eye area. Because that has to come down like that. I right? made that mistake. You look too much like Sonic. Like the line from this dread rolling all the way up into his head. <laughs> That's it, minor thing. Uh, all right, that was extreme. Uh, if you did enjoy that and you do wanna help the channel out, the one thing you can do that is completely free is to share the video. Share it anywhere, share it on Twitter, share it anywhere. I'm gonna call it this, by the way, too, so just wait a moment. Uh, share it on Twitter, share it anywhere, and it's, uh, extremely, extremely quick. It's like two seconds. You go to the bottom right-hand corner of YouTube, wherever you're at, and it says share, and it'll be just shared on any platform. Uh, other than that, we do take donations. It is PayPal, the PayPal's in the description. If you wanna donate like five bucks or something like that, that goes to buying new markers. I use these constantly. These run out like almost on a daily basis. So I buy many, 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 many markers. And paper as well. And then uh, other than that, I buy like editing graphics and uh you know editing equipment so thank you so much i will talk to you next time if you do appreciate it i appreciate it too thank you and i'll see you soon stick around for the color uh speed run here let's do it
Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that, you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that, that's fun. But for some people, some people wanna upgrade their art ability entirely, like all around, like they're serious about it. If that's you, go here. Um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material, like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour, as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both, but like I said, if you really want more and you really wanna make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here, how to draw a dragon head. I have anime, I have cartoons. There's categories for everything and everything is for beginners. Um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it. This is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons. So you can go through the entire site, see everybody else's lessons. And normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month. Um, because you're watching this video right now, if you're still watching right now, you get it for free for at least a month like 30 days, that's a lot. Um, but just you, what you have to do is go over here to the video, go down first link in the description, the very, very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days. Um, you just go over here, you click this thing, boom, and then you sign up um, and it's super easy. And the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up and you never pay a single thing. You never pay a cent and you got all this learning from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to do it, absolutely go hit that up. Um, and that's it. So talk to you later and uh, hopefully I'll see, I'll catch you over there later. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Uh, over here on the right, you're going to see my most recent upload and on the top corner over here, you're going to see just another selection, another cool selection that has to do kind of with the subject of this video. Uh, and over here at the top, you can hit the subscribe to see a lot more. Uh, this is awesome and I'll see you next time.